Hey, Will here again. Uh, Got to look over here at the camera. Sitting in my car, in my truck, because it's the place I can get the most quiet with no dogs barking, nothing else going on. This video is all about one thing. It's dealing with overwhelm. And I've learned a system. I kind of stumbled on it. Uh, I, I didn't even read it anywhere from anyone, but it's all about what you do when you're overwhelmed. So right now, I am extremely overwhelmed. Um, I've got a boot camp I've got to run uh, over the next two weeks. I've got to do six live training, no, four, sorry, four live training sessions for the boot camp, And then I've got to do three live training sessions spread over three weeks for my group coaching program. So that's three plus four, that's seven hour long live training sessions, which I don't mind doing. I'm, I'm actually quite comfortable doing those. I'm more uncomfortable being in front of the camera in front of you uh, right now than I am, you know, talking behind a screen and having people look over my shoulder. I use Camtasia and people watch what I'm doing on there. Anyway, that's here nor there. What happened to overwhelm us recently is the government decided they're going to put us back into lockdown for about two weeks. So that means I'm at home. I work right there. I can see my office. I'm sitting in the driveway. Um, my wife is at home. My four-year-old is at home and my four daughters are back and forth between my house and, and my ex-wife's house. So that means at any given time, we could have seven people in the house along with two dogs. So to me, that just makes me like overwhelmed. Um, the second thing is uh, I had to clean out the garage recently. It's right in front of me. Two car garage. We had to clean it out because we wanted to get our vehicles in for the winter. And as well, uh, the third thing is we're doing a renovation. So <laughs> of the whole basement. So we needed to um, make space for the contractor to have somewhere to actually put stuff like materials and things like that. Um, so I needed the garage cleaned out. Whenever I walked into the garage, uh, it was a mess. Like there's all just junk and garbage that piles up. And it's like, oh, if you have a garage, you know, it just becomes a big storage bin. So I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. So I kept avoiding it, avoiding it, avoiding it. Finally, I implemented my method that I don't even have a name for it, but I'll tell you it in a second. Um, the last thing is that we're renovating the basement. <laughs> so we're all there, we're renovating. I'm trying to work. The garage is a mess. The basement is a mess. We literally had uh, like the basement's full. It's got like a little movie theater section with a projection screen and a projector. It's got couches, chairs. Then it's got my workout section, which has like a big, nice universal with some a bench and a bunch of weights and like ugh, mats that weigh about 200 pounds each. They're uh, the horse stall mats that I put down there. They're really good for working out. Then there's my daughter's room, which is down there, which all of her stuff has to come out because we're actually moving her room to the other side of the basement, making it a little bit bigger. When I built her room, I didn't build it big enough and that was my mistake. I was kicking myself as soon as I did it. Then there's a little play area for, that has, is full of like Barbie toys and all sorts of toys. Then my wife had a little office down there. Now her office has moved from the basement up to our, our bedroom, which means like when she's up, I'm up. So there's no more sleeping in for this guy. I'm up uh, teacher hours. Um, anyway, we had to clean out the whole basement. So I would, I would walk down there and I'd be completely overwhelmed and I wouldn't know where to start I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to touch first. Um, even with uh, like any task that you have where you walk in, you look at it and you think, okay, I don't even want to start it because I know I'm not going to be able to finish it today. So I'll do it tomorrow. And that's what we do when we get overwhelmed. We're like, mm, my brain is saying no. So here's a technique and I, I'm going to explain it to you. It's very simple. All you need is like a phone. So we all have phones. We all have timers on our phone. So what I learned is when I'm, when I need to do like a, a gigantic task that I don't think I can accomplish in one sitting, I will go and do little chunks of the task multiple times, spread out over a couple days and the overwhelm is gone. So like for the garage, I said, okay, I'm going to go out there for an hour. So I set my timer on my phone for one hour. I would go out and work for an hour. When the timer went off, no matter how far along I was or wasn't, I was done. That was it. So I'd go back in the house. And then the next day I'd say, okay, going back out for an hour. Another hour of work put in, boom, 
done, going back in the house. And then after about doing this for about three or four days, the garage was done. I mean, I still have another half to do to sort through a little bit more, but the bulk of it was done. I could actually pull my truck in one side. It worked. So then I said, okay, the basement now, we have to clean that up. We have to get stuff out. We got to do all this stuff. We got to make trips to like Goodwill to donate stuff. Um, I'm going to put in my hour and I'm done. And I said that to the wife too. I said that we have like, this is a huge thing that we're going to be doing. I said, just try it. Just like set your timer for an hour and, and then we're done. And then I did it with my kids. I said, I'm going to set my phone for an hour. We're going to go down to the basement. When the timer goes off, we're done. And then we'll come back the next day for another hour. We'll do it when the timer goes off, we're done. And this, this one hour timer thing is like, it's perfect. I'm even doing this now in my business. I'm saying, uh, when I have like a course that I'm shooting or when I have um, responses I have to do to email or on my group coaching program or whatever it may be, and I get overwhelmed, I'm like, nope, timer's going for an hour. I'm putting in one solid hour of work right now and then I'm done. And it's increased my productivity. It's made me more efficient because I'm not distracted during that hour. I'm not pulling out my phone and playing on it. I'm not, um, you know, daydreaming. I'm not doing anything that I shouldn't be doing. I'm just like, it's getting cold in here, sorry. It's like minus two or three right now. Anyway, the one hour method has saved me <clears throat> so much headache and so much time and energy and so much mental space that I highly recommend you try it. So the next gigantic, like, <clears throat> excuse me, task that you have to do, um, that you know is probably going to go over multiple days or take a lot of time and energy to complete because it's just so daunting do it one hour a day set the timer on your phone dedicate yourself for that one hour focused on that one activity that one cleanup that one task and you'll feel better and then as these pile up and the hours pile up eventually you're done and eventually you get to the point where i'm done <laughs> like what what like now what do i do and you almost want to find another like task that you can do that will take you an hour like literally like the garage is uh getting messy again of course because as soon as you clean something it gets messy the basement's not done yet but i'm like i'm good to go like if i if i do my hour in the basement and uh clean out some stuff and we have five days until the contractor gets here and starts like demolishing that one room we're gonna do it and then the other thing is that when you're doing that hour, if it's just you doing an hour, that's one hour of labor, right? But if you have kids or if you have a partner and there's two of you doing an hour, that's two hours of labor. If you have kids, I've got like four very capable kids, one younger kid. If we all go down there, so me and four kids and the wife, that's six hours of labor getting done. Think about that. And it only took us each an hour. So there are not too many tasks out there that take six hours of labor or 12 hours of labor or more, right? If you're thinking of cleaning up a basement or cleaning up a garage. Anyway, the whole point of the video is I think I've learned how to cope with overwhelm and it is using the one hour method. And I hope that you can try it in your life and see how it goes. So the next time you need to do a, a gigantic uh, project or you need to do a gigantic clean out or you need to do a gigantic, I don't know, shooting of a bunch of videos for a course. Maybe you got a bunch of webinars coming up and you're not prepared. Maybe you need to script something, maybe whatever it may be in your work or in your life, try the one hour method. Try, just set that phone for one hour, focus 100% on it. And I guarantee uh, after that hour, you'll be like, yeah, it's not done, but I am. Cause my hour is up. So I'm out of here, like I'm done. I'll come back and tackle that again tomorrow for another hour, but my hour's up, out of here. I love it. Um, I don't I don't know if anybody's done it before. I haven't, like I read a lot, I don't read a lot of books, but lately I've been reading more and more books, but I do a lot of like, uh, lately I've been looking at a lot of productivity things and I haven't seen anybody really do this one hour method. So I'm, I'm gonna claim it. The one hour method right here. The how to deal with overwhelm, one hour at a time. That's how you do it. Anyway, have a great day. We will see you in the next one. And uh, make sure you like it, subscribe, whatever you want to do, share it. I don't care. 
this is like I said, this is more for me documenting and being accountable and uh, than anything else. So I appreciate you. Have a great day. We'll talk soon.